YouTube uh, live. So thank you very much for your overly response. So uh, Mr. Rodijit, uh, you may start the uh, formal inauguration. Is uh, Dr. Ala present? Uh, I was searching in the participation list. Uh, are you there, uh, Dr. Ala? We are waiting for the president to join. He said he has uh, some meeting. He said he will be there uh, for half an hour or so. Origit, please unmute your. Good evening, sir. Good evening, yeah. So let us start. Yes. Let us start. Uh, Doctor Alam is on. Okay. So uh, good evening, everyone. I am Origit from PSSC ISRO on behalf of Five People in the Society Kerala Chapter. I welcome all of you in this virtual event. Uh, MTTS Kerala chapter was formally inaugurated on July 29, 2019 with Dr. Chitma Shah as the chapter chair. And immediately we had organized a series of events. In 2020, as we know, the outbreak of COVID-19 restrictions in our uh, work schedule, travel and lifestyle as we know. In fact, the entire humanity has been put in front of uh, certain uh, unprecedented challenges against which the uh, fight is still going on. So accordingly, we are also forced to move uh, all of our events in virtual mode. We, we launched our webinar series covering uh, various fundamental and advanced topics on RF and microwave engineering. In fact, uh, I'm very proud to announce that uh, we had organized one webinar on 3rd May 2020, which was one of the first of its kind in this RT region. After which that initiative had propagated like anything and as we know now, a number of such events are being organized by various institutes and chapters regularly and it has emerged as a new way of learning and knowledge sharing. Today, uh, I'm very delighted to inform that uh, we'll be inaugurating the MTT student branch chapter, Government Engineering College, Burton Hill, Kerala. And also, uh, we are launching a new series of uh, webinars uh, under the name L4, which refers to learn from leaders learn from legends, under which we'll be inviting stalwarts from academia and industry in the field of microwave engineering to share their knowledge and experiences. Today, we are extremely honored to have with us in this inauguration event, Dr. Ala Abu Jalen, Dr. Shimon Kaul, Dr. Ramesh Gupta, Dr. Rashuda Anderson, Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay, Dr. Ajay Potter, Dr. Nuno Karvalo, Dr. DC Pandey, uh, Dr. B.S. Manoj, Dr. Chinma Shaha, Dr. Vijay Kumar, Dr. Shulesh K, and Dr. Vrinjit P.S. I welcome all of you and extend our gratitude on the behalf of MPTS Kerala section to grace the occasion with your presence. I also welcome all other guests, MPTS office bearers, volunteers, and participants for being with us today. So uh, we'll start with our proceedings. Uh, I'd like to request Dr. Shah, founder and chair of MPTS Kerala section, to say a few words about the section and our new venture of this L4 series. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Orijit. Uh, good evening, good morning, and uh, good afternoon to everybody across the whole globe. We are really privileged, and I can probably say that the audience, the global audience, uh, is reminding me that virtual I mark, I mean, uh, virtual version of my mark, the actual version that happened a few months before at IIT Bombay. We are really proud and privileged to have uh, uh, Dr. Ala Avinjale, the president of MTT Society. Dr. Vashinda, the president-elect 2021 and president 2022, Dr. Nuno, who will be also having a talk uh, very soon. Then Dr. Ramesh Gupta, uh, Education Activities Committee, Professor Call, already we would have had a talk by him. Uh, Dr. Gautam Chattavadai, Dr. Pandey, Dr. Poddar, Dr. Siddiqui, Dr. B.S. Manoj, Dr. Biranjit, and my fellow office bearers and participants. Trivandrum, uh, you know, uh, local people here, we call it God's own country. And it is also a city of beautiful beaches and uh, misty hilltops you can see. And it's a uh, really a tourist attraction. But today, 
in fact exactly at this moment i want to say that this city is currently also a city of knowledge and city of wisdom thanks to all of your auspicious presence let's uh, not the landing uh, let's not break the landing chain that's how we started uh, fighting against covid and that was the initiative taken by us during uh, early april when the entire india started going in uh, lockdown gradually and we started Uh, organizing some kind of webinars mainly for the students like the ug and pg students because we know the mtt society is organizing the webinar series very holistically and very periodically every month but for youngsters those who are just uh, going to start their uh, i mean education in this particular area and some of them are really dedicated volunteers as well uh, uh, some of those webinars uh, are little bit too heavy for them so we wanted to have some exclusive initiatives which will be uh, accepted by youngsters and they will also have their, their academic chain maintained so with this motto we started the activities over here and then uh, within few weeks and uh, then later on that activity as uh, uh, mr rodijit mentioned it propagated like anything and as you know most of the conferences this year has gone virtual including our ims 2020 ap society conference ucap then 5g world forum conference which happened just last week in bangalore and you know this is uh, you know the given situation this is going to stay for there but this l4 initiative learn from leaders and learn from legends so you wanted to have to give a clear direction a vision and impetus to the youngsters the idea was to invite the senior people the real leaders, both from academic front and the uh, uh, the administrative front who have spent a significant time who has achieved and who have delivered a lot to the society so that the youngsters can hear can learn and get up lot of ideas and impetus for their academics for their future journey and so on and so forth so thank you again all for uh, giving your consent and coming over here uh, under this l4 we will have uh, talks uh, quite a few number technical few panel discussions focus colloquium etc in fact i am very happy to say like uh, almost there are quite a few number of speakers already in pipeline like dr gautam dr surendra paul dr pande professor shiv gaukar dr yaya antar uh, dr kartikeyan dr guha dr rao and so on and so forth and many people are in pipeline so this is an initiative which is going to be continued uh, probably later on we can go to in uh, hybrid mode also so that uh, the webinar mode and the physical mode when the new i mean we come back to the normalcy we will have so with this i uh, again uh, extending very hearty welcome to all of you uh, you know i conclude my talk because this is the day where we want to hear the le leaders and legends so uh, over to you uh, orijit and uh, and then we can go to the main proceedings sir you are good thank you sir uh, before going to the uh, inauguration i'd like to request uh, akshat and shivada who are the office bearers of student grant chapter gc bhatani to say a few words about their uh, student chapters and uh, their institute maybe in fact you can also show the uh, us the video that you have made uh, thank you sir uh, respected dignitaries on the virtual dais teachers i to play all tears participants from all over the world and my dear friends a very good morning good afternoon and good evening to all i am akshit the student branch chapter chair of i to play mtts gc barton hill trivandrum kerala india our main objective on forming a chapter was based on providing the exposure i to play promised to all its student members thus a group of microwave fanatics con uh, convened to form a society with the right amount of dedication and needless to say we got a lot of support from kerala section especially dr chinmay saha who played a very crucial role in the chapter formation the support that we got from college was immense professor anu mohammed who strives to help his students agreed to become the advisor with due support from birinjit sir and the student branch our dream came true on the 29th august 2019 however due to unforeseen circumstances we couldn't con uh, conduct the inauguration immediately but that didn't stop us we wanted the students of our college 
to know about our newly formed chapter and our objectives. We commenced our activities with an industrial visit to Doordarshan Kendra. This was followed by a string of activities, some of which are talked by uh, many of you may know uh, Dr. Atif Shamim, Dr. Devdeep Sarkar, Russell Paul, a talk on avionics. Recently concluded talks uh, include Basudev Gosa talk, uh, RF Minds quiz, and uh, the recently concluded Devrithi uh, Ganguly Mams uh, talk. And there are many more that we had conducted. Due to time constraints, I cannot uh, describe all of them. Over to Shivada. Thank you, Akshat. Now it's my duty to introduce the Exicom of IEEE MTPS SBC, Government Engineering College, Barton Hill, who were with us in all the above activities. So coming to our future agenda. Shivada, you are muted. Okay. Coming to our future agendas, one of our future agendas is to give opportunity to the students to reach out, interact, and associate with the MTTS, and hence to keep the passion among the students for the domain lit. Our SPC has planned a number of field visits before this. Unfortunately, the situation broke out. We are planning to conduct them once the period of restriction ends, as per, as per the great guidelines and regulations. We received... We received a congratulatory note by IMTTS on the formation of our new SBC, which you can see on the screen. Let's learn and grow together with the megahertz to terahertz community. Thank you. Now I hand over the virtual podium to Sri Arjit Mitra sir for further proceedings. Thank you, Shivada. Uh, so now we have a next time. We'll just go to uh, the inauguration part. Uh, Dr. Shah, MTTS Kerala Chair, I'd like to request him to just uh, take over and proceed with the inauguration. Dr. Shah is okay. See, whether you are prepared to play this video, then you can. This is Dr. Chinmay Shah, founder and current chapter chair of IEEE MTTS Kerala chapter. Soon after IMAP 2018 at Kolkata, thanks to the motivation of the MTTS leaders. Professor Eske Kaur, Dr. Gautam Chattabhati, Dr. Siddiqui and Dr. Kuldar, we started the formal process of forming this MTTS Kerala chapter. IEEE MTTS Kerala chapter started its formal journey on March 16, 2019 to promote advancement in micro theory techniques and applications including RF, micro, millimeter and terrace technology. We believe that collective effort is the key in achieving professional excellence. If everyone is moving together, that excellence takes care of itself. With this motto, and thanks to the support of the society leaders and initiative from chapter officers, we immediately came up with two student branch chapters, actually Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, SBC, followed by Government Indian. The student branch chapters, as you will see for next few minutes, under the motivation and leadership of MTTS Kerala, works in a synchronous and harmonious manner. MTTS Kerala started its journey with a ceremonious inauguration function in July 2019. We are blessed with the presence of MTTS leadership, Dr. Chattopadhyay, Professor Cole, along with Dr. Tadwal, Dr. Pandey, Professor Siddiqui, and Professor Paul. Inauguration was followed by the technical session by Dr. Chattopadhyay, Dr. Pandey, Professor Cole, Professor 
Paul and Professor Siddiqui. Professor Kohl handed over the microwave kit to the MTTS IISTS BC after the inaugural function. More than 100 participants from academia and industry from all over Kerala participated the event. The news of our inauguration was posted in IEEE VTools and also featured in IEEE Microwave magazine thanks again to the society leaders. We had a large number of events following the inaugural ceremony. It includes industrial visit to the Rudarshan TV transmitter station, awareness about IEEE and MTTS and its role in technological advancement for school students and ex-com meeting of IEEE MTTS SBC IIST and session on MATLAB by IEEE MTTS SBC GEC. 10 grass 19, IEEE Region 10 event, sponsored by IEEE Region 10, GRSS and APS, was a mega event that was organized by MTTS Kerala. Professor Sarkar, Dr. Dadwal delivered the keynote address, followed by GRSS DL, Professor Andro, Dr. Noresh from NRSC and myself delivered the welcome address. Professor Sachinanan Babu, Professor Akira, Professor Bikas, Professor Krishnamurti, Professor Paul, Professor Siddiqui, Dr. Shah, Dr. Shumok, and Mr. Pravin delivered the expert talks. Various awards are given to the best papers under various categories, including travel grant awards. The volunteers are felicitated at the end of the session. We also conducted a series of lectures for our members. A talk on microbe diode by Dr. Bera at IST, distinguished lecture on latest trends in avionics by Dr. Russell, interactive session on microbe and antennas for UG and PG students by Dr. Shah. On the eve of Christmas 2019, our chapter, in association with APS Kerala, organized a workshop on recent development in wireless and space antennas. Despite being busy, stalwarts from the university and attended the event. It was directed by Dr. Dwal and felicitation address was delivered by Dr. Krishnamurti. Dr. Rao, Dr. Pandey, Dr. Anandan, Ms. Shirley, Dr. Apren and Dr. Raghavan delivered expert lecture. The volunteers who made the event a grand success are felicitated at the end. 2020 started with the glorious light of sweet hope. We had our XCOM meeting in concurrence with IEEE Kerala section, AGM. MTTS SBC IIST organized lecture on MIMO antennas by Dr. Devdeep and on antennas and RF systems for satellite tracking by Sri Shandip. Dr. Devdeep visited GEC the next day and delivered a lecture on basics of MIMO systems. As part of Consensia 2019, a two-day workshop on antennas for optimization and three-minute project and thesis competition for UG, PG and research scholars are organized. Global lockdown enforced by COVID-19 pandemic has affected the entire humanity and our day-to-day -day activities. But it shouldn't affect our learning process and learning chain. To promote continued learning, we organized a series of webinar sessions handled by Sri Shapnil, Dr. Shah, Sri Hoyon, Dr. Rachel, and few more are in pipeline. I am thankful to all my colleagues of MTTS leadership, MTTS Kerala chapters, and the student branches for their contribution towards the growth and success of our society and would remain committed to serve the society in any role and capacity we are entrusted with. This year 2020 has revealed the mankind its immense potential to survive unexpected crisis. It taught us to network and collaborate while keeping ourselves far apart. So stay home, stay safe and stay updated. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you Shivada. I think it was a very nice introduction to our chapter activities. Uh, now we we'll go to this uh, inauguration part. I'd like to uh, request Dr. Shaha to take over for this inauguration. Yeah, so uh, thank you again. Uh, may I request uh, President MTT Society to deliver his inaugural address to formally inaugurate his uh, student branch chapter and also the L4 series. Over to you, uh, Dr. Allah. 
Thank you very much. I I, I'm actually um, honoured and, and a privilege to be with you today. Um, I'm actually down with a terrible flu, and um, but I also now have noticed that um, playing a video is much better in terms of audio from my side. So I've actually recorded this presentation just in, in anticipation of this, and if some, if it's if you can't hear me, just I can talk through it, and I'll be happy to take any questions after. So I'm, I'm going to play it now, and um, you, you can tell me if you can't hear it, Dr. Saha, and if you'd like me, I can um, talk over instead. Um, yes, yes, you are audible. We can hear you. Okay. <clears throat> we can we, we see your screen as well. Everyone. On behalf of the IEEE Microwave Theory and Technique Society, it's my great pleasure to welcome you today. My name is Ala Abunjeli. Over the next few slides, I will be giving you a quick update on our society and our latest achievements. Okay, so I don't, I don't think this is working as I expected, but I'll, I'll talk through this. Um, so. Once again, thank you very much for inviting me to be with you today. If you can't hear me, please let me know. Um, a few slides just to summarize where our society is and give you an, an update on our um, activities for this year. And um, I'll start by just briefly you know, um, recapping on the society. Our society has a wide scope. It covers the megahertz through the terahertz spectrum. Um, when while fundamentals remain the basis of our society's scope, um, devices, components, and circuits um, play a major role in our societies and uh, technical activities. But I'm also pleased to see an expansion towards systems and applications in the past five to ten years. Um, we've grown substantially into wireless communication systems, into wireless power transfer, into autonomous system and biological effects and medical applications. <clears throat> Our society's membership remains strong at around the 10,000 figure. And if you're not a member already, I do encourage you to consider being a member of MTT. Um, this year in particular comes with a significant um, benefit, which is a free registration to our largest the International Microwave Symposium. Um, it, is, it is by far our largest event of the year, but besides that, it also gives you discounts to some of your local conferences such as IMARC um, and other events too. Um, our society has a widespread of conferences around the world, um, as you can see in this map. Unfortunately, as you'd imagine, majority of these have been impacted by the pandemic. Um, nonetheless, um, I'm pleased to say that we've also been working on expanding this, and you can see a new conference at the center of this map that's been approved this year to serve our members in North Africa. And besides our financially sponsored conferences, we have technically co-sponsored conferences that, that covers a wide range of technical topics in collaboration with other sponsors and societies. Our society is probably best known for its publications, um, the Microwave Magazine, the Microwave Theory and Techniques um, and Transactions, the Microwave Component Letters, and the Terahertz Transactions, main to going from strength to strength. We do also have um, co-sponsored conferences, the IEEE Journal of Electromagnetic Arab and Microwave and Medicine and Biology, as well as the IEEE Journal on Multiscale and Multiphysics Computational Techniques. But I'm also pleased to announce that we've launched very recently the new journal of microwaves, and which is going to be an open access journal this year. And I do encourage you to look into this. Um, we, we had our outcome meeting last week, and I'm pleased to report a very strong submission um, into the very first issue of this journal. Um, our society has a very strong um, collaboration with the IEEE Technical Councils, and this is evident through its membership with all seven of them. Um, I think they cover a variety of topics, and, and they do um, uh, increase our collaboration with our societies, uh, with other societies on the IEEE um, and around the world. 
Um, and besides this, we are also involved with the IEEE technical communities and initiatives. So our achievements for this year, um, despite the pandemic and the fact that you know we had a huge disruption in our services, we were able to work on launching a new journal. Uh, we launched the MTTS Resource Center and the IEEE Learning Network. We have um, established a new conference, the International Symposium Microwave and Antennas. We have a new technical chapters in aerospace systems. And um, we've signed and renewed a number of MOUs um, um, with, with societies and councils. Um, and also we, we joined the um, seventh um, uh, council within the IEEE, um, the Biometrics Council. And with that, I would like to conclude my presentation. Um, I, I would like to, first of all, um, thank Dr. Saha and everyone behind the Carla chapter to, uh, for organizing this event. Um, I, I am really pleased and impressed with how much the um, chapter has worked hard this year to be resilient, to work, continue working, delivering the best for our members um, all around the chapter and um, virtually. Um, and with that, I would like to announce the inauguration of the IEEE MTTS Student Branch, Branch Chapter at GEC Barton Hill and the L4 webinars. Thank you again for having me today, and I look forward to the first of this session. Thank you, uh, Thank you. very much, uh, Dr. Rala, for inaugurating the event. In fact, we are one of the lucky. It's probably uh, but, uh, this much of uh, attention and presence from all the leaders uh, from the society side and also from the Indian Academy and industry side. So uh, may I now request uh, Dr. Rashinda Anderson to uh, deliver your address uh, during this inauguration. And also I thank you for uh, uh, accepting our invitation for the panel discussion that would be happening in the first or second week of October. So over to you, uh, Dr. Rashinda. Can you can hear me? Yes, I can. We can. Okay, I, I just have a slide. Is that? Do I need to do put on my headphones? Well, let me try to get through this. I just have one slide, but. I want to uh, congratulate um, you on the L4 series of webinars and panel sessions that you're planning and you're actually implementing currently, as well as the, uh, the new uh, student branch chapter there at uh, GEC, the Barden Hill chapter. And just recognize the achievements that you've made, um, as you've all said, during these tough times. Uh, just as Professor Poole mentioned, uh, we should take advantage of this time and uh, not see it as so much of a, a hindrance to our uh, success, but see it as a way to find opportunity to achieve other successes. Um, also, when we create these new chapters, we, we have new members that come into the society. And as members of the AdCom, we look for ways to support you through uh, support if you apply for fellowships and scholarships as well as uh, the benefits that come from the member. We also, um, I personally look forward to the virtual meetings that you'll have as well as the webinar series. Um, as Professor Kuhl mentioned, uh, Professor, or Dr. Gupta was the education committee chair and he really established uh, several great initiatives and programs uh, which one of those was the webinar series. And so uh, just as he started that and it made an impact uh, here, uh, it has made an impact for you all. And so you all are doing a very similar thing. And so that's very exciting. And I am one of the producers for the webinar series. So uh, I am always involved behind the scenes, trying to help prepare the presentation so that they're successful. And so I make, I have a recommendation. One is that uh, you have patience with each each speaker, have patience with the people who are working behind the scenes and always recommend speakers and ideas for the talks because sometimes it's hard to continue to have fresh uh, ideas that the audience is going to be interested in. 
And as a result, I think this will lead to great success and learning for everybody. Uh, for students who think they don't have any ideas, as well as for those who really are creative. And then just finally, um, I'm looking forward to attending IMARC 2021 and just all the future meetings that will be held in uh, collaboration with um, professors and uh, industry in India. So uh, thank you. And once again, congratulations on uh, all the great achievements. And thank you, Professor Saha, for inviting me to present today. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rashinda. Uh, you know, if you're, the way you presented the slides and the inauguration, it really makes me and my volunteers and the team very happy and really pleased and privileged. And so before we go to the next agenda, uh, can we have a virtual photo shoot uh, so that we can archive this moment for our future? So can the volunteers take a screenshot and may I request all of you to just turn on your video because I know president elect and president is very busy. We'll be having a meeting soon. So we can try to just capture the moment. Yeah. Just let us know when the your click is done. Over? Yeah, it's over. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really sorry that I'm restricting uh, all the speakers in terms of the time because uh, we have all the stalwarts present and we have an interesting technical talk later on. Now I uh, request uh, Dr. Ramesh Gupta to say his inaugural message and uh, his best wishes for our future activities. Over to you, sir. <coughs> Can you can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, thank you. First of all, uh, I want. To, uh, by the way, did you see my? Sh I shared my slide. I thought is that. Yeah, we're able to see it. Yeah, we, we can see it. We're able to see it. Okay. Um, so um, first of all, I want to just uh, congratulate uh, Professor Saha and and the whole uh, team there. Um, it's a, I want to congratulate for the inauguration of the new student chapter. More importantly, I want to uh, appreciate and admire the level of energy um, that you are demonstrating in terms of initiating new initiatives with the L4. I think it's a brilliant idea. Uh, I wish more, more of the chapters should be doing that. Um, so good luck to you and I'm sure, I'm sure absolutely certain that you will be uh, making a major contribution to growth of and promotion of MTT society, not only in India, but uh, uh, you know, to the whole community at large. Um, now, um, you know, as, as you uh, heard, I am um, right now heading marketing and communications committee and as the past chair of the education committee, and I'm also chair of the India business committee. Um, so in the marketing and communications, I just want to talk to you briefly, uh, the steps we are taking to, um, to make more of the content available to the chapters and to the members all around. Um, so let me just, I'm not able to turn my slides. In any case, I, I think I had a bunch of slides that are somehow not working, but I'll just talk through them. Um, so one of the major initiatives that we have launched um, during last this year, particularly because of COVID-19, uh, we were all working from home. So we have uh, launched what is we call uh, MTTS Resource Center. IEEE has a resource center platform uh, which actually consolidates con uh, content from majority of societies. We didn't have a presence there, 
uh, so a lot of work it went into pulling it all together right now um, the resource center has all the webinars that have been uh, presented since 2016. So there are more than 60 webinars, uh, close to 70 webinars, including DML lectures, which are available there, both slides as well as videos. Um, and you have the ability, if you are a MTTS member, to uh, go to the link, um, and uh, and you sh you are able to watch the videos as well as download the slides uh, free of cost. Um, there are other uh, areas of content that we are trying to integrate into the uh, resource center that includes um, the um, uh, the opening and closing um, uh, talks at the IMS, for instance, and uh, the panel sessions and some of the other content, um, including micro apps, which are presented at uh, IMS. That has not been done yet, but uh, we are working with the uh, IMS Society Chair and IMS um, um, Committee Chair and uh, Technical Program Chairs uh, to get that content ported over. Uh, so what that will provide to you is uh, ability to, to access uh, world-class material uh, which has been presented and delivered by experts in their field uh, free of cost as long as you are MTT society member um, so so the, so that actually i'm what i'm hoping that that particular platform we will be able to include eventually uh, the webinars that are taking place at different chapters as well uh, so that knowledge can be shared we want to um, include some educational content um, on the same platform so that it becomes uh, available to the um, membership at large. Uh, second thing I want to talk about is in addition to the uh, resource center is the um, IMARC 2020. Uh, because of COVID-19, we had to um, postpone it uh, to 2021 or combine the two between 2020 and 2021. But we have actually working with the um, Education Committee, uh, we are planning to launch a program in 2020, uh, which will be a um, student design challenge. Um, and we will actually um, initiate it fairly soon. That again, it has been delayed a little bit, uh, but it will allow the students to uh, make proposals to the committee on projects that they would like to work on from now on until 2021, and if there is a cost involved in buying hardware or even software, uh, there will be some funds available. Those winning proposals will be able to take advantage of those funds. And what we are hoping to accomplish there is by the time 2021 um, IMAR comes and this particular uh, COVID <laughs> crisis behind us, uh, we can have the uh, the the groups from different colleges in India and institutions uh, present their their projects. And at this time around, because the labs are closed, um, people don't have access. Uh, we we are focusing also on software uh, related projects. In other words, it's the system simulations that people can do remotely. So and that is coming, um, and uh, hopefully. You know, I'd like to actually make an appeal here. Hopefully you all can participate and I'd like to uh, ask all the students to take a look at it and uh, and participate um, and, and, you know, learn something as well as we'll have a lot of fun by the time we get to 2021 IMARC. So with those comments, I want to once again uh, congratulate the team. Uh, I'm truly honored to share this platform with my ADCOM colleagues and also um, all the organizers, uh, Professor uh, Javad Siddiqui, Professor DC Pandey, uh, of course, Dr. Saha, uh, Dr. Manoj, and of course, my colleagues, um, Dr. Shivan Kaul. I always have uh, pleasure talking to him uh, online, offline, uh, uh, Roshanda Anderson, um, 
Ola and Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay and Ajay Potter, um, all of them are doing a great job in promoting the society around the world. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Dr. Gupta. Uh, your motivation and support and leadership uh, really For the audience, I would like to record that you'll be uh, hearing uh, Professor Gupta, Dr. Rasinda Handers, and others very soon on a separate podcast event. So with this, uh, may I request, uh, Dr. Call already had a talk today. Sir, can I uh, request you for a very short yes, congratulatory one minute, message? One minute, one minute. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Are you able to hear me? Yes. So yes, yes. good evening to everybody. And uh, some people are in US, so it's good morning to them. Uh, you know, it was uh, during IMARC in Calcutta when I had a discussion with Chinmay that we should start a chapter in Kerala and then he went back, I think with full force, he started a chapter and then he started a student branch chapter which Gautam and I went physically there and inaugurated. You see two nice cakes being cut by both of us during that inaugural session and uh, during that time we met uh, uh, Dr. Anu who was uh, from the Government Engineering College and uh, when we gave the kit to uh, Chinmay, he expressed his desire that he should also have a kit. Uh, and the condition was that he should open a student branch chapter, which he promptly did. And uh, we were planning to physically go and inaugurate it, but uh, because of the COVID, we could not do that. And uh, I'm glad that uh, President uh, Allah had promised that he will come to India. And uh, we were thinking of taking him to Kerala to inaugurate it. But anyway, it happened virtually is good and so i take this opportunity to thank chinmay and anu and uh, other members of the kerala team and uh, formally we allies inaugurated the chapter we wish you all the best and any support needed from any one of us you don't need to depend on me there are a lot of edcom members here so we will all together work with you so that uh, uh, the activities are uh, uh, many more activities are carried out and ultimately as i mentioned today in my talk we have to see to it that the students of the college get benefited and i understand that there are a lot of undergraduate students so we need to motivate them and also i promise that i'll get a kit for them this i will do as soon as the covid is over and uh, next phase we will do a portable network analyzer so that they have a full flesh facility. Thank you very much and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. We'll all uh, have a virtual, a physical meeting uh, sometime to the around IMARC or whatever. Uh, we'll be waiting for that. So now may I request uh, Professor Nuno Carvalho. He will have a talk soon. But I just request you to uh, say a few words uh, about this inauguration, just maybe for a minute or a couple of minutes. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Saha. Can, can I can I share my screen so I can okay, show sure, you? The four sure. Ones? Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah, sure. So let me let me connect it here. So okay, so I will try to share my screen. I hope you can see my screen. Yes, yes, we can. Yes, so uh, first of all, thank you very much for this amazing uh, event that you are organizing here today. I just want to say some few words about MGA on MTT. So Professor Shivan is actually our regional coordinator, and we had a, an amazing chapter share meeting in June that was kind of virtual this year with, with a very interesting contributions from different chapters. And I want to, to say that we are going to have a new chapter share meeting in November. I will send more information soon about this. And, and everybody is invited also to attend our chapter share meeting, not only the chapter shares, but also the other members can actually invite and can actually see our, our meetings there. Well, uh, I want to uh, also say that um, MTTS has started this year due to the COVID, uh, a new proposal, which is called the MTTS Live Talks. 
and this is uh, being very well attended. So thank you very much for all of the members that are attending. And uh, I want to say that uh, Professor Gotham, Dr. Gotham, gave a very interesting talk uh, uh, on, on these MTTS slide talks. And we'll have a new one in uh, 20th of September devoted to the future of 5G. And I think you are only invited also to see it. It is going to be live in Facebook, in WebEx, in YouTube. So it's, it's a good, good experience. I want also to, to, to share with you that we have different committees within NGA. One is the Women in Microwaves, which is very interesting to bring the, uh, our counterparts, the women parts, to this uh, interesting area of, of research and i'll show you here some of the regional coordinators we have at this moment and also uh, for region for india there are some of the colleagues here professor um ashwini sorry probably i don't uh, spell the, the name correctly and professor Rawat. so they they are actually working with us with a lot of activities so devoted to women in microwaves and especially, they have a, a special column in the IEEE magazine where we can actually write and we can actually show what we are doing. And regarding the microwave magazine, I want to say also that we are now publishing also some reports from chapter shares around the world. So if you have a report, and hopefully after this interesting uh, meeting today, if you want to send me a report, we'll be publishing that in microwave magazine to show to the other members some of our activities. The last thing I want to share with you is our young professional team. This is a very important point for our society, the young blood, young people that can actually contribute. So here I'm showing you some of the colleagues that are collaborating with us around the world. They are being managed by, by Sara, which is the chair of the, of the event, and Tushar, you, you know very well Tushar, is very active in these in this areas. So these are some of the young guys that are actually contributing with us. And let me say that last year they won the IEEE Young Professional Hall of Fame Award, and this is really a recognition of all these strong and hard activities from young professionals. So this concludes my uh, address. Again, thank you very much, Professor Saha, to invite me to share this with you uh, today, and, and uh, we will be waiting for you the 20th of September in, in the cloud to, for a new event of the MTTS class. Thank you very much. Thank you. Professor Nuno will be really glad to send a consolidated report for the event that we are having today. Uh, so with this, uh, may I request uh, Professor Poddar, who is a big support, uh, like a big brother. He belongs to both MTT and Antenna Propagation Society to say uh, I mean, uh, his message and few uh, words to us. Over to Professor Poddar. Um, uh, uh, hello, Dr. Ch uh, Dr. Chen, uh, uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. You okay. are visible. I would, like to share, uh, I would like to share the screen. Please. First of all, a very, very, uh, very deserving congratulations to MTTS GECBS Student Branch Chapter Kerala, uh, because I was very much associated long time through, because Kerala is the, from where I did my uh, engineering college from RSC Calicut, so it's very close to my heart, and I'm uh, virtually I know everybody in person, especially Dr. Chinmay Saha and other his team and Professor Anandan and I think Mohandas and many people and I know personally. And they are very, very, you know, proactive volunteers. I said they are the, uh, basically the role model in India. Um, I see the many chapters in India should replicate the similar kind of things. So once again, congratulations uh, to empty government engineering college, Barton Hill Sriman chapter. Uh, the reason I took this uh, opportunity to stay because I'm also a member in MTT and AP Society and very much active in other societies like Comsec, Photon Society. I see the uh, society has a common goal because advancing the technology for humanity 
And for in the perspective of MTTS member, about 45% MTTS member are member of the APS also. And several activity or collaborative missions can be planned for the benefit. And I had active role in APS, um, and just like Nono is doing for MTTS society, for sector activity, the MGA engagement, uh, so that I know that both chapters work very, and uh, in a synergy manner, uh, the outcome is very productive. So in terms of chapter events, meetings, and activity, Industry participation. I want to thank Professor Call because he was very much, you know, uh, engaging the many industry and academic ministers in India. And I see that from 2011 to 12, how the activity has grown. So thank to Dr. Call. Distinguished speaker programs. So you guys are doing very great. The webinar I see the increasing. Even COVID pandemic did not stop us to moving. We found the different opportunity. And as uh, Professor Nuno was saying, this year chapter activity meeting, all the chapters they are meeting was you know, record number of attendance. It allows the different avenue to connect globally all over the volunteer who could not travel because of these other various issues. Then important is site project. I think four or five years I'm very much active in site projects. And I was the fund. Uh, I was the one who initiated the MTTS site also, and society. There are also site programs, and I'm also steering program committee on ITPLA site. So utilize this funding because humanitarian project is the key. The number of number of site group and member increased from nowhere from 100 to 200 in in a four years. It became 10,000 plus. So the new STEM, uh, new student, uh, school student, and college student, if they have a motive to have something impact into home, they'll be definitely become the member of IT police and they can influence the society also. Workshop, student young contest, and reaching out to life fellow, young professor, women's engineer. Here's a bit of time which I took in March 2020. There, there's not much difference because some of the members. I request the audience to mute uh, your mic. Participants, kindly keep yourself muted. Uh, Professor Pater, please. Kinmoy, I think we lost Ajay because it's showing a yellow triangle. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so maybe we'll wait if we can, we can get him back later on. So <clears throat> with this, uh, our formal inauguration part is almost uh, over. So uh, now I request Dr. D.C. Pandey, who was there on the inauguration of MTTS Kerala chapter in the uh, July 2019, when Professor Cole and uh, Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay came over to Kerala and IIST to inaugurate the event, Dr. Pandey was one of the speakers, and he has been always a very senior friend to all of us. So I request to Dr. Pandey to offer your uh, felicitation address, sir. Yeah, the, uh, good morning, good evening to all of you, and it is my great pleasure today to meet all the in that uh, MTTS uh, uh, place and that okay I was really you know overwhelmed to see all the people I mean that uh, in this uh, virtual yeah, seminar virtual inauguration of this uh, uh, conference <clears throat> of this uh, inauguration function and uh, I uh, congratulate all of uh, you in for the Chinmaysa and Dr. Anu for such an excellent organization of this uh, particular event and that you know that you have launched that L4 stage of the talks and that IEEE MTTS uh, Government Engineering College Barton Hill student chapter and inauguration uh, by the uh, Dr. Allah and uh, you know this was an excellent talk given by dr uh, professor call and that was interesting i could uh, uh, spend some time to hear that one because i was in some other meeting so i thought that okay i will see in my smartphone itself that okay what is uh, professor call is talking about it was a very interesting and i feel that okay we will be keep on associated with the uh, kerala chapter and kerala chapter is really doing excellent uh, activities and the 
way that okay you have done the time the inauguration the type of the outstanding inauguration you did that one the type of the you know activities you uh, got it done that time it was that uh, you know tremendous uh, and i wish you all the best and that okay whatever the support from my side from the uh, you know is always there i am very close to you people i have stay in the bangalore so anytime anything if i can do that one i will always be there with this one i once again thank you for uh, you know giving me an opportunity to speak all of you thank you very much <laughs> very much uh, dr pandey sir uh, and in fact uh, again thank you for uh, get taking i mean giving a concept for the speaker for the l series so we lost dr podder he is back now so may i request you to uh, conclude uh, by a couple of minutes dr podder or probably we uh, again he is having okay. some issue uh, yeah oh, yeah uh, because yeah. i okay there uh, maybe that there, there is a okay i'll have a concluding talk because uh, i don't know why my slide got disappeared why my uh, the things okay let me conclude the slide so i'm sharing it okay the, the message is stimulate this chapter by supporting technical events dl talk that are interest of local community, STEM engagement, YP and affinity groups, expand relationship with industry and academic institution, and increase the associated professional networking so that the value chain has added impact, reinforce and impact MTTS members by engaging MTTS members and other sister society members to business that needs to low cost benefit. And we have a uh, advertisement of uh, submitting the site project proposals, uh, which was the 1st September was date and 15 September and also, uh, if uh, a local branch chapter is uh, interested in having funding, ITPL site has a lot of funding. The small funding goes up to $20,000 and big funding goes up to $100,000. With that, I want to conclude and I want to again congratulate uh, Bartil Hill branch chapters. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Poddar. In fact, uh, you, I know you, I mean, you have also given consent. You are also a future for the speaker. Now, Entered and because of Professor Cole and his initiation at IMARC Kolkata, where I was uh, attending as an AP chapter and they invited me for the AP chapter chair meeting. And there, uh, you know, we got the impetus to come up with this uh, MTTS Kerala chapter. And the rest is history, as you know. So I request uh, Dr. Chattopadhyay uh, to uh, say something as a felicitation talk. And he is the next speaker in the L4 series, which is on 26th. So a big congratulation to all of you uh, in, in, in this Grand Brand chapter. And, you know, I wish um, I, I knew Malayalam, then I could have talked to you in Malayalam, but unfortunately, Malayalam or illa. Uh, so uh, I am really happy to see the, uh, you know, leadership quality uh, that is coming from all the students. That makes me really hopeful for the future generation of leaders of our society. Uh, because you know that we are all getting old, so we need to be uh, looking at who to take over the leadership roles for our society. And you all know that, you know, uh, people join MTTS society uh, primarily because of our, you know, journal, a very high quality journals, as well as our conferences. But what MTTS provides is the opportunity to network amongst all the students and the faculties and the industry leaders. And I know that due to the pandemic, that is uh, not happening. But still, you know, through these webinars that you all are organizing, that gives you the opportunity to you know, network. And uh, I know that one of the things I am really impressed uh, due to the, if, you, if there is any silver lining to this COVID-19, is that there are a lot of webinars are being organized. And you all, the students are really, you know, the tenacity of the students is amazing because you keep at it, you keep on asking us to give webinars, you don't give up uh, until you hear yes from us. Uh, so the, that is really amazing that, you know, there is a Hindi site that Lagero Munnabai, that kind of, you know, attitude you all have, that is really great. Uh, so I'm really happy to do that, you know, uh, that's why you can see that, uh, you know, I, I was armed to stay to give another webinar uh, to this. I'm happy to do that. And again, I want to congrat uh, congratulate to all of you, all the students and all their, you know, uh, the mentors uh, that, again, our society is in good hands and please ask 
uh, or other students who are not MTTS members to become MTTS members because there are a lot of you know positive outcomes when you become an MTTS member. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay. You have always been a real leader and real motivator for us. And as you said, the continuity uh, and matching is very important. So the continuity in terms of the knowledge and leadership will probably will also come through this one. And as I said, uh, Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay is the next speaker. And in spite of a huge time mismatch, probably this is early morning, he has connected. On the next uh, 26th also, he'll be connecting uh, on a focus talk. We'll have a focus session by him. So with this, uh, now I request uh, Professor Javed Siddiqui, uh, who was my professor and he's a mentor and moreover, he is very active and he's one of the best human being I have ever met. I request him to say something on this auspicious day. What do you uh, uh, say? Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Uh, at the onset, I must congratulate Sidma Shah and Dr. Anu Muhammad um, uh, you know, taking this leadership and uh, forming this chapter, student bond chapters in IST and in Barton Hill. I was there, like you said, with uh, Professor Paul, Dr. Chattopadhyay, Dr. D.C. Pante uh, in July last year. Uh, our physical presence was there when we inaugurated this chapter. However, uh, the leadership quality that you have shown like I still remember we started in Calcutta, like the chapter, the joint chapter was formed in Calcutta in 2004, the APMTT joint chapter, and then um, at AEMC at the flagship conferences under the joint chapter, IAW, which was uh, under the leadership of Dr. Guha. We were working together, and then the energy that he had taken forward in Kerala, in South of India, it's really exemplary. And uh, motivating the motivating the students, retain, retaining the student members and members in the region has been a big, has been a tough challenge. Has been has, been, has always been challenging, but you have shown exemplary leadership quality to retain members and membership growth in the southern in the southern part of India is definitely growing up, and I'm glad to see that. And uh, like the events that webinars that has been organized by you and your team in uh, in. In the southern part of India, I think you know the, if the, if the activities that you are showing your 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 leading, if there could be handshaking move like other chapters, other chapters in all over India and in the region could follow up. You know, it would be a great uh, it would be of a great help. And something I would like to say about uh, hearing calls, uh, Professor calls uh, lecture, like. Uh, we need to train uh, the training that has been that will be provided by the kids by creating manpowers. I would like also to emphasize that we need entrepreneurs and jobs and um, you know industry. Like probably we can look into that, and if the industry comes forward, and we can have the, uh, synergy between academics and industry. And some entrepreneur, entrepreneurs would, uh, could, you know, like uh, uh, in the industry could develop the private industries uh, that would benefit all the members who would uh, be joining this MPD community. And thank you very much. I once again congratulate you and congratulate the dignitaries for the time that they've uh, given to attend this uh, inaugural session. And thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. In fact, I just want to keep on record that my IEEE career started under uh, Professor Gua, Professor Siddiqui, and Professor Vashkar Gupta at Calcutta University. And if I remember correctly, my IEEE volunteer activities started with the airport pickup with then President MTTS Professor Modelski and a few team members, which includes uh, Dr. Madhu Gupta, Vijay Nair, and Professor Parman, and so on. And then at that time, I was uh, not really aware of what the IEEE activities. Uh, had been that was in 2006 long back so in fact through this uh, you know leadership and i have learned a lot and as uh, all the followers are talking about that uh, if those who are not still member you can take membership and get network with the followers with the technicalities that the society brings to all of us so with this uh, i request now professor bs manoj who is the branch counselor of my uh, IIST student branch to uh, offer his felicitation at this. Professor Manoj. Are you there, Professor Manoj? Yeah. 
So uh, I think due to some uh, issues, he is not there. So on his behalf, I just want to mention under his leadership, we have five student branch uh, society chapter in our institute, uh, Antenna Propagation Society, Microethic Society, and GRSS Society, Industry Academic Society, and PS Society. So the institute's IEEE units are really active and uh, quite motivated, and we have done several events, not only webinars in terms of focused colloquium and all, so uh, with this, we are at the very fag end of the inauguration and we all are waiting for the next talk, which will be offered by uh, uh, Dr. Nuno. He's a uh, you know, uh, world-renowned worker in this particular field and wireless power transfer. So before that, I request uh, Dr. Anu Mohammad to offer a formal vote of thanks for this particular inauguration. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening and good morning to all. On behalf of MTTS Kerala chapter, MTTS chapters, Indian Institute of Science Technology and GEC Barton Hill, I would like to thank all the MTTS and APS officers, Dr. Ala, Dr. Ashonda, Dr. Nuno, Dr. Ramesh, Dr. Kaul, Dr. Gautam, Dr. Achai, Dr. Pandey, Dr. Siddiqui, Dr. Manoj, for accepting our invitation and facing the event with your presence. I would like to thank all the attendees, faculties from various universities across the globe, scientists or industrialists working across the various organizations across the universe. I'm happy with the enthusiasm shown by the student community who attended the function and would, and would suggest them to involve and join these kind of society chapters and get yourselves benefited technically, non-technically, etc. We assure the intern, we assure the APMTT societies that we'll struggle hard with our capabilities, limitations, etc. But need guidance, assistance, support, etc. from headquarters, region 10 and Kerala session, section and we'll adapt to the changes so that our young members will contribute fruitfully for IEEE in the coming years. I would like to thank the college authorities, principal, dean, department heads, faculty, supporting staff of Government Engineering College Barton Hill for always standing with the APMTT and its activities. I would like to thank all our mentors, be it faculty members or people from industry with we whom associated in the past and conducted so many high quality technical events in the past and we definitely like to associate with them in future also and we want also new new York collaborations lastly i would like to thank all the office bearers of aps and mtt kerala section for their extreme support to gc barton hill and my beloved undergraduate student members who are responsible for the chapter formation with this i am concluding thank you and uh, handing over the virtual podium to Dr. Chinmay Saha. Uh, thank you, uh, Anu. Uh, <clears throat> so I just want to again uh, keep on record that uh, Anu and uh, Sri Odijit are the two real pillars of this particular chapter propagation and micro theoretical society. In fact, he always remains uh, behind the curtain uh, during IMR, even though he was not there. Uh, many of the things, like uh, in terms of the best paper awards and all the memento certificates and uh, many associated things were so all taken care by him from uh, Trivandrum and I just carried uh, those things over to Mumbai. So Anu has been a uh, real volunteers, very hardworking and always dedicated, never say no. So he's a real asset and I uh, you know, sincerely believe he will become a future leader under uh, I mean, hearing all these L4 activities. So with this, we come to a formal end of this particular session, and all of us are waiting to hear Professor uh, Nuno. I again thank everyone, the leaderships, President, President-elect, Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay, uh, Professor Paul, uh, Dr. Gupta, Dr. Siddiqui, Dr. Kudda, Dr. Pandey, Professor Manoj, everyone to uh, for your uh, you know uh, time presence, irrespective of your uh, difficult time zone and many other engagements. So. Uh, I sincerely believe we will uh, remain, uh, you know, blessed, and uh, you can entrust us with any type of activities. We will be happy 
both in technical fronts and administrative fronts and leadership fronts. I have full belief on my members and I have full uh, confidence on my volunteers. And I sincerely believe that we will carry forward this momentum to the next generation of leaders to come. So with this, we conclude this particular one and next session will start in a couple of minutes. Uh, Ms. Shibada, who is doing a PhD at IIST in the area of uh, early power transfer, is probably most best host for the technical events for the next session. So I uh, hand over this virtual podium to Shibada. We may start the formal proceedings for the first uh, technical L4 talk by Professor Nuno Carvalho. Over to uh, 